Hello and welcome to the Radicals Online Tutorial. This is the video lesson about laws of operations by the Radicals Online Tutorial. The lesson objectives for today's tutorial are to understand and use commutative, associative, and distributed laws of linear operations. Let's begin. Basically, there are three laws of operations a commutative, associative, and distributed laws. We'll talk about them one by one in detail. If we know the commutative law, it only holds on addition and multiplication, but it does not hold on subtraction and division. Let's see how these laws are applicable on the following operations. For example, as you can see, when we add two numbers, rather A plus B, or B plus A, it's always equal. Or we can say that left-hand side is always equal to the right-hand side. We may take different examples. For example, if we take three and four, and if we add them, the number, the results is equal to seven. Rather, we take three plus four, or four plus three. It's always equal to seven. Similarly, when we multiply two numbers, irrespectively, whatever the order of operation is, we need to know that the two numbers, if they are having the same sign, let's say, for example, if we have three multiplied by four, it is equals to 12, and four multiplied by three, it's also equals to 12. We can even apply in different numbers having different signs as well, and we'll get the same answer. We can see the example above. If we add the number three and two, we get five. Similarly, if we add the number 2 plus 3, again, we get 5 blocks. Now, the multiplication example is 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, and 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 blocks are here. So it has been proved that the computative law holds on to all operations, addition, and multiplication. Let's talk about the associative law. It also says that it does not matter how we group the numbers, which we calculate first. For example, if we add three numbers, or if we multiply three numbers in the order, like first two numbers are being added, using this bracket means that we are making it strict to add the numbers in between the brackets first. And then we later on add the third number. Similarly, if we add the second and third number at first by using the brackets, and then add with the first number, the left-hand side result will always be equal to the right-hand side. When we multiply, it gives us the same result. If we multiply first two numbers and then multiply with the later one, we get the same result if we multiply the second and third number with the formal one. And we get, for example, one plus two plus three. We get one plus two is three, three plus three is six. And let's say we get two plus three is five, plus one is six. Similarly, when we multiply with example, we can elaborate. Here are a few examples, like two plus four plus five. We know that two plus four is six. And when we add this, it is equals to 11. It has the same answer as if, if we multiply four plus five and we will add it with two to get two plus nine is 11. This, three multiply by four into five, again, if we multiply three fours are 12 into five is 60, has the same answer as if we multiply four with five and multiply it with three, we'll get the same answer as 60. So it has been proved that associative law also holds on the same two operations, addition and multiplication. Now let's talk about the distributive laws, addition or multiplication. Let's talk about it. It is the best one of all that needs careful attention. What it needs to be. For example, if you see, it's written addition over multiplication. It means that first we need to do the addition, but according to board mass, we are always multiplying before adding. So if in case, if we wanted to add first, we need to put bracket in addition. So we are adding first and then later on we are multiplying. But on the other hand, when we are going to the right hand side, the result is just like we are expanding numbers. And as you can see, you know how to expand in algebra. There is a complete tutorial available on my video channel. So you can see we can expand with this number three multiplied by two, and there is a plus sign in between and three multiplied by four. So this is actually the same result as we are expanding it, and we have any number outside the bracket. So 
we say that the distributive law of addition over multiplication holds. And let's see with example. If we have two plus four, and then we're going to multiply it with the number three, we'll get the same answer that if we multiply first A and B, and then add it with B, multiply A and C. Multiply a group of numbers, add it together, or do each multiply separately, and then add them. I hope you're going to try the calculations yourself and you'll get either way gets the same answer. Now, this is the wrap up of today's class. You see that the three laws we have talked about, the first laws are commutative laws, which holds on only addition and multiplication. Then the associative laws, which also holds on addition and multiplication. And third one is the distributive law, which only holds on addition over multiplication. I hope you liked the video. Please provide me feedback. For more video tutorials, you can watch on our channel. And do not forget to subscribe our channel. Stay tuned for more video tutorials.